Have you ever wondered if the half moon on your thumb can be a portal to self-discovery and spiritual evolution? This tiny detail on your thumbnail is a revelation of the intricacy and complexity of the workings of the universe. It showcases that even the most trivial aspects of our being can reflect some magnificent underlying truths about our existence. The universe is fractal in nature, and the whole can be seen in each of its parts. These minute details, therefore, echo the more extensive, interconnected systems at play in the fabric of the cosmos. Throughout different cultures, the presence of a half-moon on a thumbnail, also called the lunula, has been celebrated as a symbol of spiritual insight and expansion. Lunula is a word borrowed from the Latin language, which means little moon. It is the pale crescent shape at the base of your thumb which presents itself as a half-moon. So does having a lunula make you unique in some way? Does it mean you are nearing your spiritual awakening or it has some other profound messages for you? Let's uncover all those secrets one by one in today's video. And most importantly, we are going to reveal a three-point protocol that you will be able to put into practice to harness the power and magic of your lunula. Very few people are exposed to this esoteric knowledge. If you get a hold of these secrets, you can transform yourself not only spiritually, but in the material realm as well. So then, without wasting any time, let's delve deep into the mysteries of your lunula and the profound spiritual treasures it holds for you. To appreciate the true significance of the lunula, you must understand how and why the moon is seen as a potent spiritual symbol in various spiritual traditions and cultures. The different stages of a lunar cycle are a potent representation of the cyclical nature of reality. Everything in the material realm works in cycles and rhythms, bringing a certain coherence to the systems within the one giant system of the whole universe. Like the cycle of birth, life, death and rebirth is a forever continuing and self-sustaining model that controls how souls come into the physical, relish the material through a body and five senses and then leave for the non-physical only to come back again in another form to gather more lessons. Without this dynamic cycle, there would be no concept of birth and death and no notion of spiritual evolution through embodying the material form. Similarly, nature moves in its divine yet predetermined cycles. The seasons come one after the other, enabling life to thrive on this planet. Every season is essential to sustain life, for the changing of the seasons imbues planet Earth with new opportunities and resources. Just as flowers bloom and wither and trees shed their leaves only to regrow, nature illustrates the relevance of cycles at play. If you closely observe any system in this universe, you will find an underlying rhythm. This is a testament to the power of cycles depicted in the changing shapes of the moon. In astrology, the moon represents the soul and the path to enlightenment. Every soul is intent on the voyage of self-exploration, and it's only for this purpose that it endures cycles of birth, death and rebirth. The prime intention behind reincarnation is to gain insights from each life cycle and utilize them to evolve on the ladder until the soul becomes one with infinite consciousness. This is the sacred process of attaining enlightenment. As souls traverse this path towards enlightenment, they often experience deep spiritual awakenings and profound realizations that elevate their consciousness and prepare them for the union. Whether an individual is consciously aware of this or not, still at his very core, every person is seeking to become one with the divine. The half moon is also a sign of psychic wisdom, intuitiveness and empowerment. In the Bikram yoga practice, the half-moon pose is used as a way for relieving the body from its stresses and energetic strains. This pose has been practiced by yogis for thousands of years to explore inner alignment and stability and restore the fragile balance of body and mind. The crescent moon is also a symbol of the sacral chakra, which is located just below the belly button. 
The chakra system is an energy system popularized by ancient Hindu and Buddhist traditions. Chakra is a Sanskrit word meaning disc or wheel. The human body is believed to be a vessel for energy, and the seven chakras, beginning from the base of the spine and extending to the crown of the head, act as energetic valves that let the vital life force flow through them. The Yoga Sutras of Patanjali further explain the symbolism and significance of each chakra and how they can be used as tools to leverage the Kundalini energy, which is a divine feminine energy that lies at the base of the spine. When this energy awakens, it rises from the lower chakras and reaches up to the brain, widening human perception that eventually leads to spiritual liberation. The symbol for the sacral chakra is a crescent moon shape that sits inside a six-petaled lotus flower and two circles. The presence of the crescent moon in the sacral chakra signifies change and a free flow of energy that can be used to strengthen one's creativity. Also, the crescent moon's gentle curve mirrors the fluidity and adaptability of the sacral chakra, inviting us to embrace our emotions and creative instincts without fear. The crescent moon on your thumb is a phenomenon widely studied in traditional Chinese medicine, or TCM. In TCM, nails are known to offer a glimpse into the overall health and vitality of the body, and nail health is equal to the health of one's chai and liver blood. A lunula, according to TCM, is an indication that the body and mind are in a state of health and energetic harmony. This means that your vital life force, or qi, is flowing freely through your energy meridians, opening your body to health and vitality. The absence of a lunula, on the other hand, represents lower physiological function and possibly an obstruction in the free flow of qi. Therefore, people with a visible lunula are much more likely to enjoy better health and emotional coherence than their counterparts who do not have a lunula. In many ancient and native traditions, the presence of a lunula on one's thumb is an indication of potential good fortune. In these eccentric traditions, it is believed that your life will be blessed and you will likely encounter divine favors that will illuminate your future. But that being said, having a lunula does not guarantee a spiritual transformation. It sure can act as a catalyst, but you have to consciously align your energy in favor of your desired future. And for that, we have the three-point protocol that you will learn about in this video. More on that in just a minute. For now, let's explore some other powerful meanings of the lunula. People with a pronounced lunula on the thumb generally have a much enhanced sixth sense. Their elevated energy and vibrational frequency make them highly sensitive to subtle vibrational cues far beyond an ordinary man's grasp. Such individuals with a developed sixth sense can also pick up information from other realms and dimensions that are not limited to our five senses. This is called extrasensory perception, or ESP. ESP is a vast subject in itself, encompassing mind-to-mind -mind communication, perceiving objects beyond the normal range of perceptual fields and foreseeing events of the future. However, all these skills must be diligently honed and the presence of a lunula is only the first step. The rest of the journey must be navigated through utilizing one's inner guidance system. The half moon on your thumb is also a symbol of heightened intuition. You will feel a sense of being connected to something greater, unexplainable, yet very real. This is the universe's energy, the divine consciousness always connected to us through an energetic umbilical cord. Acknowledging this connection can deepen your understanding of your place in the universe, ultimately leading to a more prosperous, more fulfilling existence. We all have access to this powerful God energy all the time, but our limited emotions and beliefs severely diminish the strength of this connection. Most of us try to live life rationally and through logic, but logic has no work in the realm of creativity and magic. Maybe you can live a life through logic, but to rejoice in a deeply satisfying life, you need to lean onto your inner guidance compass that will help you tread the waters. 
With a heightened intuition, you will see that things will align in your favor on your own. And every day, you will see incredible synchronicities, which you previously called coincidences. You would be thinking of a friend, and they would call you out of nowhere. You would be thinking of making more money, and suddenly, an opportunity will present itself out of the blue. These small but potent miracles will happen in every aspect of your life. They will encompass your health, money, relationships, career, and everything else. This is the surefire sign of the universe aligning things in your favor and a reward for listening to your inner guidance, which we also call your intuition. Now that you have a lunula on your thumb and you are aware of its significance, it's the perfect opportunity to utilize it for transforming your life. This means not only elevating your mental models, but also manifesting a reality that you desire. You were sent into this time-space reality to fully leverage your spiritual gifts and create the life you want. Because you are connected to the divine energy that creates worlds, the urge to create and expand runs deep in your blood and bones. It's your spiritual essence. You have recognized your spiritual gift in your lunula, and the next step is to utilize this sign to your most significant advantage. As promised, here is the robust three-point protocol for changing your life through reprogramming and updating the neural circuits in your mind. The first and crucial step in any spiritual seeker's life is knowing who they are. This essential step lays the groundwork for all subsequent spiritual exploration and growth. So, you must start with knowing yourself and what you desire. Who are you behind all the masks you wear for social validation? Behind the facade you have built from a state of self-victimization, beneath the flawed social conditioning you have accepted as the ultimate truth of reality. Who are you? What do you want? Answering these questions objectively won't suffice. You must know yourself through inner reflection, peeling back the layers of conditioning and external influences that may have obscured your authentic self. Authenticity is a collection of choices that we have to make every day. It's about the choice to show up and be real, the choice to be honest, the choice to let our true selves be seen. Brené Brown, the world around you and outside of you has consumed so much of your time and energy when in reality it really has no power over your circumstances. Nothing in 3D has any control over you and your life. It only impacts you when you give it power by giving it your energy. The present moment and the current reality you are living through is old news. The only reality and source of all your life's tribulations is your inner world of thoughts, feelings, and beliefs. To know yourself, you must befriend this ocean of emotions that resides in you. Stop focusing on the outside events, especially if they are triggering. Conserve your mental energy by not reacting and channel all that sacred energy inwards. Every day, sit in complete silence for at least 20 minutes and let the silence soften the stubborn mental knots in your subconscious mind. Make it a habit to refuel your energy in silence, and very soon you will start noticing more aspects of your thoughts, beliefs, and behavior. This information is critical in helping you overcome those limiting patterns that have kept you chained and victimized for so long. This is your first step towards liberation of mind, body, and soul. The human mind is like a recorder. It first absorbs a series of instructions through repeated exposure and experiences. Then, this information is meticulously organized into coherent patterns and narratives, creating a story through which we live our lives. This story becomes our filter. Our inner dialogue is dominated by its themes. Our emotions and behaviors are in alignment with this story. If your life is not changing for the better, then it's because you have unknowingly downloaded a flawed narrative, a disempowering story. This is the reason you have been struggling for so long and despite your best efforts to change the trajectory of your life. 
but signs like the half moon on your thumbnail are there to remind you over and over again that nothing is lost. There is still hope for you. You can change your life in magical ways only if you start changing the story you have crafted. So think of an area of your life that you are really struggling with. Is it your health, money or relationships? There might be multiple areas you are trying to manage and correct simultaneously. Then develop a strong statement, a blanket affirmation that would help you navigate through all of your current anxieties and challenges. Here are a few examples of some blanket affirmations. I am the blessed one. I am the favorite child of the universe. Universal energy supports me in all my endeavors. I am guided and protected no matter where I am. Things always work out in my favor and in ways better than I can imagine. All is always well in my world and I am at peace. Pick one blanket affirmation and repeat it over and over again, just like a personal mantra. Make it your first thought soon after waking up and the last before going to bed at night. Repeat it so often that this simple affirmation solidifies itself as a belief in your mind. When that happens, it will be your new story, your new filter, the blueprint from which your future circumstances will be shaped. The presence of a divine message like the lunula on your thumb is meaningless if you don't use it as a stepping stone towards carving out a new future for yourself. Manifestation is not a new age gimmick. It is the reality of every evolved human mind. Every yogi, sage, inventor and spiritual master has been known to refine his manifestation skills, for they know that the purpose of this intellect is to create a life their soul was ordained for before birth. In the last step of this protocol, you must incorporate regular visualization into your life. Close your eyes for a few minutes and daydream about everything you want and immerse yourself in the future you crave. Make sure that when you get up from your visualization session, your mind and body are brimming with the promise of the future. This is how geniuses use the gift of imagination to carve their desired reality. As a spiritual seeker of truth and a soul in its quest for enlightenment, your imagination will be your guiding light and a perfect tool for orchestrating a different life. So. Nourish your imagination every day and fill your mind with beautiful thoughts of a deeply satisfying life. And always remember that you are not a human, but a spiritual being in this 3D world. So recognize and embrace your spiritual gifts.